This is MJ. This is from Mulligan when I had to cut them up. I put this one in the fish tank and he didn't like it. And so I took him out and I let this dry completely out because it did have a little bit of rot. I'm going to cut here. and put it in some sphagnum. It does have this little root, it was dried out, but I was hoping and letting him dry out that I'll be able to save him. Battle. It's very interesting because my other MJs, the names are MJs, they're rooted. This one, I don't know. I don't know what happened because everything I put in my fish tank, like it takes off and thrives, so I don't know what his issue is, so that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Um, and hopefully it survives. But honestly, this yellow leaf is cute. Okay, so the cutting, oh, my hair's in the way. Right here, the other MJ. So this one, which this was one of the um, better cuttings. It didn't have a lot of um, yellowing on it. But, mira. Yes, we have roots, baby. And they all, I put them all in water at the same time. This one's actually doing good. And I only changed out the water once. It got like extremely gooky, but. I'm really happy to see the leaves that these um, end up producing. And then the other one, which is too heavy for me to pick up the container. So I'll get the cutting. Whoops, we're a little bit dark right here. Okay. But this is the one that's in front of my mirror. And this one, we have roots too. And like I said before, it is very interesting too because um, I gave my friend a cutting and hers hasn't rooted. So yeah, but yay, I'm excited. And there's actually two, I just noticed. Can you see? Oh, focus. I don't know if it's focusing. But yeah, you see that? So. Okay, so other than my cuttings that I just showed, I have a lot of just random things that I need to do. Um, and including vacuum, vacuuming. I vacuum a lot, but I have it in like two days and um, there's soil everywhere. In pond, I dropped a, um, well, I didn't drop it. I tipped over a plant that was pond like a mix, but most of the pond came out and those little rocks are, ugh. But I got most of it up by hand. But yeah, just stuff like that. Vacuum and um, my plants are thirsty. Really dry. Watering. And my propagations that I've been propagating for years. It hasn't been years, but it seems like that. For forever. They're ready. They're beyond ready. Their roots are really good. I keep looking over here because I'm looking at my propagations on my, um, my bedroom wall. Especially my PPP cutting. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pot her up too. Um, I think so. And then some of the other ones and, um, one of the ladies from my church who I just truly admire and look up to, um, I want to gift her, um, a plant. I'm trying to decide which one. Um, but yeah, I want to gift her something special. I did. Um, she does have a monster at Insonia. I gave her last year with my plant group i'm um, part of the plant committee at my church if you don't know i want to um pot her up one because her birthday is this weekend i want to gift her that and then just some other just all the plant things that need to be done i was going to just go ahead and do it but i was like um i can record it because y'all like this stuff right and also too this means y'all need to go and do some plant stuff while you watch this video okay cue the music <laughs>
Okay, now I filled those with water. And before I decide to plant something, I'm gonna go ahead and water this. With some plants, I find it easier just to take it to the sink and give them a good soak instead of um, just doing it on the, what you call them, you know, where it is. Okay, everything over here is good and watered. I still need to decide what plant. But over here, look at my jade philodendron and how she's like climbing on the wall. She is so healthy and she's in a, I think that's like a four inch and I water her once monthly. And when I first put this picture here, this wasn't even trailing off of the shelf and so look at her i want her to just trail all over and you know so that makes me happy oh i think this one needs water y'all i don't remember last time i watered this one this is a global green a dusty global green with some mold <laughs> And this one I actually watered not too long ago and I actually need to empty out the tray, but I'm not doing that right now. Okay, over here, um, I had a plant there. It died. So I want to find another plant to put there. I'm thinking of adding Sony Eye and a golden basket. It used to go up there too. I want to put that back on there, but put it with the anchor screw. Y'all, look at this. This is reality. That's usually where I do my repots over there. And I just left my soil, my cleaning stuff. Look at that ledge. Mm -mm. Okay, we gotta we gotta fix that.
y'all i literally bought these mini fairy lights from dollar tree like three months ago and i kept forgetting about them but i finally put it up but you have to stay tuned to the end of the video to see how they look Okay, so I have my bins together. I'm gonna top this off with some more pawn. Even though I do a lot of plants with both a mix of Lekka and pawn, I don't mix them together because I do have some plants that are only strictly Lekka and only strictly pawn. Okay, I love these babies because, whoops, my remote fell. I love these babies because I water them like once a month. Yes, they're looking a little bit sad now, especially that um, it's been a little bit over a month. <laughs> but I'm going to water them now. And y'all, cool function on this. Um, so this actually has like a um, timer for my Janae and like intensity i don't know if it picks up on camera but yeah okay <laughs> and this is actually a cutting from my mr boogie This was my second cutting. My first cutting I took from him, I gave it to a subscriber. And this one is doing very well. It has a little new baby. It is gonna retire from here very soon because the leaves are getting taller and bigger. But yeah.
look at this cute baby. Miles from Paradise in a Pot gifted this to me. And it was just a node. Well, two nodes. And look. It's just been chilling in here, living its best life. And the dome is from Dollar Tree, so go get one. And shout out to him because he also gave me this Rafa de Ford Escurra. This beautiful skeleton key should look like this, but it's not, and I've been having it in the cabinet forever, so I'm going to do some changes. Y'all, this is not cute. Something needs to be done. Okay, so this has been a love-hate relationship. They have been sitting on here i thought they were going to climb um they've been sitting here forever this one's yellowing off they're not attaching what am i doing wrong but i think i'm gonna go ahead and pot this one up in something else and put my keyhole on this while i'm at it i'm gonna go ahead and just do a cute little mixed pot these cuttings have been in here for a while now so I'm going to just pot all these together and then cut up more plants. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I wasn't expecting it to be attached, so I didn't want to interrupt it, so I'm going to go ahead and leave her on here since she's literally just insisting on staying. I didn't want to tug her too much, so I'm just going to remove this dead leaf, and I'm going to pot her back up, just leave her like that on this side, and why not? I love mixed pots. I'm going to go ahead and pop my um, keyhole right next to it. It will be okay. And I didn't realize until obviously I just took it out of the pot that my, I keep saying keyhole, I mean skeleton key, but that it's this long. But yeah, it's going to look fine. It's going to be okay.
Y'all, this started off as a two-leaf cutting. And look at this baby. She is so pretty. Um, mine is these yellow leaves that I'm moving. But I'm very, very um, proud of this baby. And it makes me happy. I eventually will move her out of the cabinet since she is getting long and wide. But look. So pretty. Very proud. Y'all, look at my philodendron, Esmeraldenza. I just transferred her to Lekka Pond Mix about two weeks ago. She was originally in Lekka, excuse me, in Pond Only. And look, she has not one, not two, not three, but four new growth points. Like what? She is acting up. And at the same time that I did that, I also propagated her. And look at these roots. Uh, need to clean that leaf. I am so excited about this. I purchased this Hoya Sweetheart Carry Eye back in March. It did not have this extra plant. Look, it's variegated because I, if you don't know, Hoya Carry Eye Sweethearts, they're supposed to be just single node hearts. But look, yeah, it's producing a, a freaking plant and it's also variegated. Yeah, you lay it, lay it.
Okay, if y'all haven't seen Tiny Desk, Alicia Keys, you need to watch it. Um, yeah, it's my favorite. Anyways, this ZZ, y'all, it has actually grown so much. And this literally felt like it popped out of nowhere. I know it didn't, but it did. And it's really dry right now. I've been letting it dry out because I was like, do I want to repot in something bigger? I think I am. But it's doing so well. Fun fact, I used to not care for this plant at all. I was like, oh, okay. I mean, to be honest, it's not one of my favorite plants at all. But the dark foliage is gorgeous. And of course, seeing the new growth and the light green, it is a beautiful plant. Just not one of my favorites. So if you haven't, you need to go to my channel and look at me struggling to build these shelves. It was it was a nightmare, but they look good. <laughs> and all of these plants need water. I especially like keeping these um, clear on clear um, pots with the pond and like a mix um, to the highest as possible. I don't know. That's just what I've been doing and the plants have been loving it. And look at my new leaf on my black alocasia that I'm still surprised alive. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and top these off and the other ones because they were, yeah, they, they was thirsty. Nope, nope, we're not going to talk about her. Uh-uh, nope, I refuse. Can you touch? Touch. 
sweetie touch touch right here no touch yes touch 